I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Dawncraft. Now today is World Download Day, and that means you can get this world if you're a supporter of any tier over on Discord. Uh, and that could be a supporter whether you're on Twitch, on Patreon, or even here on YouTube being a YouTube member. Um, so be sure to check that out. Of course, links always down in the description below. Be sure to get your world download. It'll be published over on the Discord. I'll see you over there. And let's get on with today's video. So loads of fun that's going to be happening today. I plan on hunting some more eyes. So last episode, we ended up getting ourselves the wither eye and the black eye. Now, there's a couple of eyes that we can craft, being the witch eye, which I can still craft. I have all the ingredients for. Uh, believe it or not, we have found a witch pupil. And the undead eye, which we have all these items. I do have an undead soul, but I have no idea where I got it from. Apparently, it's from End Remastered. Um, I don't know. But we do have it. Um, and then the old eye, apparently, it says the legend says one, uh, it says this eye once belonged to one of the great sandworms. Apparently, the old eye can be found in the desert temples, uh, which are like the desert pyramid things. Uh, the cursed eye is supposedly a powerful artifact, it says. And then the piglins swore to protect it. So where do piglins hang out? Well, that one's pretty obvious. Uh, we're going to need to loot bastions for this. And then we have another eye, the evil eye, which uh, this one is supposed to be housed um, by a uh, villager. Uh, it was actually told to us that uh, the villagers will have a possession of it. So that's going to be kind of a, a random thing. Now, there's supposed to be another eye that is held in the fortress, I do believe. Um, so, yeah, that is something I, I believe there's another eye. Uh, we have several different eyes here. There's a rogue eye, which we already have all of those. Like, these are all the different eyes. I believe the cryptic eye is one that we actually can't get our hands on. Ah, it's the nether eye. So, the nether eye is another eye that we should be able to hopefully go for today. So, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to head into the nether. And what I want to do is I want to try and loot that uh, nether fortress that we found. Um, so we have, there, there have been a couple of fortresses that we have gone through, but I want to try and loot the one that's over here. And of course, uh, we're, we're, yeah, these guys, my goodness, they're, they're horrible, but yes. So that's what I want to do. I want to head over. I believe there's a fortress literally right over here and we should be able to, uh, to hopefully loot this thing. All right, so right here is the fortress. Let's see if we can't get down quick enough before anything major spawns. There we go. And we need to find chests that will be stored. And I believe within these towers, there are plenty of chests. Oh, goodness. Also want to make sure that I have my effect be gone on. So when we do get withering, we can make sure that disappears. So yes, I, I believe that, yeah, there should be, oh my God. <laughs> we found it in our first chest and there's wild and hordes in here. I'm going to take that and a blank root. Oh my gosh. And an epic. That's, that's kind of awesome that that was the first chest we found it in. And I wasn't even expecting a chest to be like out in the open like this. Now, what is this? So this is a viral wither. Oh boy. We're fighting them in the lava, apparently. So, so good. So good. I'm loving this. All right. What is this? Oh, this is just like one of the central areas, I'm guessing. Get wrecked, dude. Oh my gosh. And yes, um, we're going to be able to totally get reforges happening on all of our gear. It's going to be even better than it currently is. It's so good. What is this area, though? Holy smokes. And there's an auto feeding upgrade. Oh, cool. There's modded items in the loot pool. That kind of makes looting even more worth it. I still can't get over the RNG of finding it on the first chest I opened today. <laughs> Oh, man. And where was this building? It was literally right next to me, but I, you can't see it on the map. I'm pretty sure it doesn't show up here. Yeah, it doesn't show up anything like this is a, a natural... Natural fortress. Look at that. 
So this is the top. I wonder if there's uh, any more up here. These are just towers. Just wither skeletons, apparently. And barrels, but... Oh, there is loot in the barrels. Ooh, we got a battle. Get wrecked! There's gems. Get out of here with that. Wow. Yep, and this is the battling thus far. This is just how things are going. I'm going to check all of these. Oh, yeah, yeah. If there's anything purple, that is what I want for sure. Any purple gear, I am down for. Yep, there's a pair right there. Heck yeah. So I will definitely say this place is pretty darn lucrative. And I mean, if you can withstand all of the stuff going on, I ended up finding a ton, a ton of, I believe this is epic, epic gear, which is really, really nice. Now, I think with all of that, I kind of want to get out of here and just focus on finding a bastion at this point because I've already found the eye that we actually get from the fortress. So that wasn't too bad at all, actually to maintain or get that eye. And I wasn't even expecting to get that today. Oh my goodness, how awesome is that? All right, so Bastion. I'm assuming finding a pretty large Bastion is going to be our best bet. Also, what is that? I don't know. There's also like other things that I want to, to find out and loot here as well. Just to kind of get an eye of what things are what. Is this like another fortress area? Okay. A Coom Cod? Is that what that said? Is this just a blaze area? There is a blaze spawner. And these are player heads, apparently. Oh, there's a chest in the middle. But it doesn't have very good loot. Let's, yeah, let's get out of here. It's quite noisy. Holy smokes, that's a lot of blazes spawning. I'll uh, get out of there. So I think I found one. This is definitely a bastion. Oh, mosquito, get off of me. Gosh, always with the crimson mosquitoes. This is like the worst biome because of these guys. Oh yeah, you have no chance. Dude, I think it's because my sword applies weakness to the mobs. And so like the next couple of hits, like one of my swords applies weakness debuff, while this one does six extra damage to nearby mobs. So I feel like the combination of all of that really adds to everything. Holy smokes. Okay, how am I supposed to find where chests are at? Um, I guess just hope. I believe there's chests like down in the middle. If I'm not mistaken, I just have to worry about brutes, right? Like these guys. But we should hopefully find, I don't know if we're gonna get that lucky with this go around, but we should get lucky, hopefully. Oh, I gotta find, I gotta get to this guy. What was that? Oh. And there he's down. All right. I'm not very familiar. You know, the one thing in vanilla Minecraft I have never really messed with is bastions. Like I've, I don't think I've ever looted a bastion like this successfully <laughs> in like regular Minecraft. So bear with me on my lack of knowledge of where chests normally are located. I'm going to assume that there might be chests located down here. Oh yeah, there's definitely chests located down here. Okay, well, and there is netherite scrap, a knife. Ooh, I'll take the ancient tomes. Let they allow you. To, and there it is. A cursed eye. Okay. I. So that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. I will take all of this gold as well. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. My goodness. So that we got both eyes. I don't even. I don't even know what to say right now. Um, I guess that's just the chances of getting it are, are pretty high. Or we just got super lucky with this particular bastion. I have no idea. Oh, let's go. Let's get up here, though. Oof. Is there any more chests in this bastion? Other than what's located right in the middle? Aha. There's definitely more chests. Because here is another chest. It's got blocks of iron. I'll take the golden apples. 
Maybe it's just on this layer that they exist. The lower levels? The more you learn. Now to try and get out of here. Thankfully, the R's books makes it so much easier to travel. And the fact that you get slow fall with everything. Oh, that's so much nicer. So there's a cool little house down here, but it looks like I'm really going to have to fight my way into it with all these piglin hunters. Holy smokes. That's a lot of enemies. Oh man, am I gonna make it? Holy smokes. We just annihilate. This is crazy. Look at this little horse, by the way. Wither skeleton horse? All right, let's see what's inside this place. What are they defending? Oh, they're defending some striders. Get wrecked. I love how it does... Oh, th this house is empty. What, <laughs> what, did, what did I just loot for? <laughs> Dude, am I, am I saving you, Mr. Strider? I don't know. I feel like you're, you seem pretty at home at the moment. Kind of want to... Get rid of this guy. Get wrecked. Okay, that spawned in. Don't want to mess with that at the moment. These guys are just like falling from space. I don't... What in the world? What is this? Oh, I do want to grab it, though, whatever it ended up dropping. I, I don't even see what it dropped. Some blocks. What? Whatever that was was kind of cool. There's so much stuff in the nether, just like underwater. There's like so many things to loot. And now that we have gear that allows us to withstand a lot of these attacks, we can explore a lot more, which is way, way more fun. Ooh, so I just found a radioactive area. That's pretty cool. It's all green and everything. <laughs> kind of spooky, honestly. Ooh, there's a boss. I want to kind of go after that boss. Mm. Let's go. Let's do this. First, let's get rid of this guy. But this guy. Okay. We are doing a little bit of damage. Not a whole lot. But our regeneration is really helping here. Okay, it is chipping away at our health slowly but surely, which is not good. Oh no! Let it regenerate. We need to eat. And back at it. <laughs> I hope we get some really good gear. Usually these guys drop pretty, pretty decent gear. So it did drop a pretty decent piece of gear. Gives us resistance. Which I think is what's making us really powerful is that extra resistance. A ghost pepper and sharpness book. Hmm. Are these things supposed to be like stone hinges or something? <laughs> what is this? And what are these filled with actually? I have no idea what these are filled with. Oh shoot, he's still alive. It's hard to tell when they're doing their jumping animation or this is just blocks of coal. Oh, there's an inside. Ooh. So these are like different kind of wither skeletons. This is this is a wither skeleton knight. But yeah, this is a, this building has stuff in it. And there's a stairwell that leads down. I'm assuming to more fighters. Oh, and there's like a diamond. There's a block over here. Yeah, these guys are going to be... So much annihilation happening right here. This is an elite. Holy smokes. That was really loud. That was a lot going on. Okay, I'm having a blast, if you can't tell. Uh, let's see. Is this just gold blocks? 
This is just gold blocks. Okay. Let's see what the underground leads to. I mean, if anything, if a bunch of mobs pile up on us. Okay, so there's like rooms with like trapped mobs in them. Ooh, there's ancient debris in that. There's ancient debris down there. Ooh, two chests. Okay. Here is what I want to see. What could possibly... Soul sand. Ooh, a reforged. Ooh, a, ni a nice axe, though. That was actually a nice... N a full netherite ingot. Okay, so these might be worth definitely finding. You could definitely get down here to fight these guys. Because it's just like free netherite. And diamond. I'll take it. I'm sure there's probably even more. Just... I love the dual wielding of the two swords. It's so fun. And it's just... With the reforges on it, oh. It just makes it even better. Even better. So this area back here opens up, and we have... Piglins as prisoners. Hmm. But that seems to be about it. Okay, so I guess the, the main thing here would be getting, um... Getting the netherite. For sure, 100% getting the netherite and uh, the ancient debris that are all throughout this. Like, there's ancient debris all over here. GG. Look at that. Now this is a crazy nether biome. Look at this. It was like called ancient battlefield. I don't know. It's got basalt trees. This whole area is just giving me super eerie desolated, like, just completely destroyed vibes. I love it, though. Ooh, I got my first boss indicator! There is definitely something lurking down here, but I have no idea what. This looks pretty cool. I definitely want to check this out, and definitely need to mark this with a waystone. I have my waystone down, and the boss music has started! I really hope this isn't copyrighted music. I love how that's the first thing that goes through my brain. Oh, man. All right. This is apparently the boss. Oh, yes. I have. I am very familiar with this, I think. I feel like when I played Medieval Minecraft or Better Minecraft, I had fought this guy. And it was awesome. I think I can. Can I knock these lava plumes back? Oh, the lava is awful. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's get back. Make sure to get these guys out of the way. Am I able to just... Let's get out of the way. It doesn't really matter getting out of the way. We are just wrecking this guy and he's doing no damage to us. Such a cool mechanic, though. There we go. Oh, yes. Rolling behind them would be nice, but he take he's body blocking me get out of this oh the netherite monstrosity all right dude this is this is what he does and you're about to get wrecked my fan my friend get wrecked i i can't even bow at you that'd be kind of a cool emit though and he, he just oh so we ended up getting some cool stuff so we got a destructive infernal forge of the singularity wow what a what a mouthful and then the monstrous horn from the cataclysm mod cataclysm mod you say when is this just used for crafting oh it is so this is used to make the helm upgrade for our current netherite gear and if you fall below half your hp while wearing it okay you'll push nearby monsters and gain buffs strength and defense knockback resistance and regeneration that sounds Crazy powerful. Um, and then we have ourselves a hammer. That places torches, apparently. Oh, it has the ability... Wait. Does it have the ability? Right-click blocks... Yeah. Oh, no. I think that ruins its whole effect, right? Because it's supposed to have the effect. Yeah, it places a torch at the cost of six durability. I don't think it takes durability, though. So it's an infinite torch placer. <laughs> but that absolutely ruins the fact that you can right-click this. Oh, no. 
to get it to actually proc a, an effect. <laughs> wow. You gotta love when, when mods converge like that. All right, let's see what's over here. I'm interested. Is it just a bunch of soul fire? Is there anything in this structure? Or just a bunch of fire? Huh. Wonder if there's anything in these chests over here. Doesn't seem to be, but I'm, I'm definitely familiar with this boss. I'm pretty sure when I played medieval Minecraft or, or it was, I think it was medieval Minecraft. This was in here. And I remember this, it was, it was definitely an earlier version of this, however. And it looks like there is ancient debris up here. Probably just grab that. I wonder how much ancient debris is just strung out all through this. This will be hard ancient debris to get because it is actually surrounded by lava from the looks of it. But think, thank goodness, ancient debris actually doesn't, uh, doesn't melt in lava, believe it or not. And so I can just, should be able to just uh, scoop it up. There we go. Pretty epic, I must say. That was a lot of fun. I, I'm, I'm hoping that there's more bosses. And uh, this is apparently from the Cataclysm mod. So, hmm. According to our tools. Wonder what more the Cataclysm mod has to offer. So after that epic battle, I'm planning on looking for another of the Cataclysm bosses. Because apparently, that is how, according to its wiki, or according to its uh, Curse Forge page, that is what we need to be doing next is looking for this boss and uh hmm hopefully it's nearby i mean it could be thousands of blocks out i have no idea but i'm going to continue my search and hopefully we randomly stumble upon it that's my goal so literally no joke after three hours of flying around i think i have found it this is what i've seen in the images Oh my gosh, and it looks so beautiful, except for it's just huddled into the ground here, but it goes so far down. This is what we're needing. This is the place that we're going to be fighting our next Cataclysm boss. And this should be pretty darn cool. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. Okay, let's head down. And I guess this is the, the main hall. I kind of want to explore a little bit before we go any further. Oh, and there's uh there's there's something. I don't know what that is. What are you? Ignited Revenant? Okay. I don't know how dangerous you are. Oh, there's multiple down here. I'm not doing any damage. Holy smokes. Okay, it's but it's not doing any damage to us really either. Whew. Oh boy. There we go. Holy smokes, we are putting, putting in the work. This guy is straight up a Beyblade. I don't even know what else to call it. He is straight, it's straight up a Beyblade. Oh, come on. Get rid of those effects. I love, we just like take hardly any damage. It's, it's kind of crazy. So we just got burning ashes from doing that. There's another one over here, I believe. I I don't know if we need to fight this or we need to go to the main arena. I'm going to try the main arena and see what this is like. This is going to be pretty crazy. So let's do this. Pa okay, so do we just right click the ashes onto here or cannot break? Oh, we click the ashes. Okay, so that worked. And now something's happening. It, so this is the boss. This is Igneous. Okay. He's doing basically no damage. We'll see if that changes. He does have... It, just, it looks like he has invincibility frames. Oh! Oh! Whoa! I just dropped into a pit. Ow! Okay, I'm frozen. No! No! We definitely need to avoid those. Him like grabbing you. Oh my goodness. This is kind of cool though. We need to eat. Oh, we've got him down a little bit. This is pretty wicked. 
Ignis. Ignis the boss. Oh. Oh, shoot. He changes forms. Let's see if we can get behind him. Oh, yeah. Getting behind him works really good. We're frozen. No! I don't want him to stab me. This is crazy. Our gear is just that good. All right, we're doing no damage now. Oh, did he reach? He regenerated a little bit from like actual stabbing me. It looks like. Oh, this is getting so much fun. This is so much fun. Oh, oh, that's probably not good. Probably want to get out of there. Oh. No! We've been taken. I love how it gave us hearts like we were riding something. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're definitely taking some damage, but we can heal up so fast with ours. Got him. Come on, we've got this. And we got Mr. Mushroom, foaming mushroom over here. Get annihilated, dude. Get wrecked. Yes. Oh, that was fun. I This was a boss I actually enjoyed quite a bit. Wow. Okay, so we ended up getting three igni... Uh, what is it? Ignium ingots and the music disc, which is Symphony of the God Blaze. I hope this isn't copyrighted, though. Wow. Okay. And this is supposed to be used to make the incinerator, which is an upgrade. And then I believe this also is used in our gear uh, in the smithing table to upgrade all of our chess pieces. Oh, I hope it carries over everything and all including our enchants and stuff when we upgrade. That's going to be crazy. And when we upgrade our helmet, we're going to be unstoppable. Now, I think just so I can get the sword as well and get more of these, I'm going to actually fight them again. This is very reminiscent of things you have to do in Terraria, for example. You have to fight, you know, the bosses multiple times and then grind out the resources to be able to fight the bosses. Yep, yep, yep. And that's what I'm going to be doing. You don't have to watch that, though. So now after fighting him for a second time, I now have, for some reason, three music discs. I wonder if that was a looting affected that. And, uh, well, I think we have enough ingots now to also make the sword. Oh, man, that was epic. And with that, I think Pleasantville is just a little bit little bit safer I would have to say after after all of this so today not only did we get all of this stuff and we upgraded all of our equipment and we now have the ability probably to upgrade it to epic tier which is going to make it even crazier we can now take all of our gear and upgrade it in all kinds of different ways right uh because not only did do we have this and found the the different eyes we also got this horn right um now I don't know does my helmet, is there options? So we can make it this, or we can make it this. Um, and so I don't know what I want to do. I don't think I want this specifically for my helmet. I don't know. I think I want to go the route where we just upgrade our entire gear to this, which is going to make our gear even tougher than default, even higher, even more knockback resist, even more armor and more toughness by default on the base. I think this is the way to go um, instead of doing this, which if we go this route, then we're just getting, uh, if we're if our health ever falls below, which I don't think it's going to fall below just based on that, that fight alone. So let's put all this stuff together and let's upgrade our gear. This should keep all of our stuff, but we should be able to now upgrade to what I can't even see what the name of it is. The Ignitium. I believe that is what it's called. Into this Ignitium gear, which is an upgrade to the Netherite. And then later on, we can even attach. Holy smokes, this gear is epic looking. We should be able to attach to this gear. Oh my God. An Elytra once we get one in the end. This gear is sick looking. Now this sword, I want to craft just for its looks alone, but I don't know how practical it is to use. We'll have to see. Um, but this has some armor negation as well. It has a pretty high speed, base speed. 
like it can be swung i believe pretty fast or no no it's a little bit slower than this i think the higher the number is, is how that works then but i mean it has a higher impact i mean hit seven enemies per swing versus our two with our netherite sword and i don't know if this is gonna be dual wielded but it does have this effect it says uh full charge takes three seconds if you stop holding right click after three seconds you can summon a flame strike in the direction of looking at interesting wording there and this is a warning this item may be lost as the flame strike explodes when it disappears what why what 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 <laughs> why would you want it to disappear that sounds horrible to lose it for that long boss battle that he also regenerates so you have to be very strategic on how you hit him interesting this one says, if you stop holding right click while sneak, the user will charge forward and give damage to enemies in front of you. If the target is hit by wall, hit it. If the target get, if, if target get hit by wall, target take more damage and gain stun. I feel like I'm talking like a caveman here, uh, reading this, uh, bulwark of the flame. Hmm. I still want to craft this just, the, just for the looks alone. But let's craft this baby then. Let's get this bad boy up and running. Bam. There we go. The incinerator. And the, I just want to see what this looks like while we're holding it. It already looks crazy, the fact that it's in our hand like this already. Holy smokes. That is sick. We just have this huge sword. Oh, wow. Okay, what's it look like when we swing it? Oh my gosh. That's bonkers. And it doesn't even have any upgrades on it yet. Oh, yes. This is where things get real. And with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's insane episode. And uh, if you want this world download, be sure to get it. it is, it'll be linked down in the description below. For those of you who are a supporter, of course, all you got to do is check out that Discord. Uh, so be sure to do so. I would really, really appreciate it as that goes towards supporting these videos that I make. And I thank you guys so, so very much for that. If you guys did enjoy today's episode, it took quite a while to make today's episode uh, wandering around for several hours trying to find this boss. My goodness, be sure to give this video a good old subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate that. And at this point, it is now time to thank the supporter of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go to Friends of Enemy. Thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way. Over on the Discord, becoming a Discord premium member and supporting in one of the best ways possible. Guys, I thank you so very, very much. Get your world download if you haven't already. And of course, I hope to see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.